From a business perspective, the uh, biggest benefit that we have is, is, is predictability in being able to provide infrastructure in a timely manner and also provide the resiliency and scalability that we need as our business grows. We wanted somebody that was a leader in this sector and that would provide us with the opportunity that we needed to grow into an environment where we can deliver products to market quicker we can provide the resiliency that our customers demand and as the business and our distribution channels grow we can provide the scalability very quickly. Some of the technology challenges we were having uh, prior to implementing the Software Defined Data Center were those centered around security and protection of our customer data and being able to build a virtualized environment that can segment our customer data and our applications appropriately in a non-Software Defined Data Center environment. The tipping point for me in seeking a software-defined data center solution centered around just being agile enough to provide environments for our software development teams quick enough. Software-defined data center allows us to move their applications through development into QA, load testing, into production much faster. From an infrastructure perspective, control is very important. We need to be able to have the governance and the policies wrapped around the delivery of environments. Using tools like vCenter Operations Manager, we're able to directly see what is requiring resource in our environment to ensure that resource is adequately distributed to make sure that nothing is wasting resource and things that require more resource are given resource in a timely manner. Using vCenter Operations Manager we're able to plan for future growth and to create models on expected growth to ensure that we have the capacity to meet the business needs. Previously you had to provision hardware, you had to buy the hardware, you had to submit a capital request. You could be months in, uh, in getting environments stood up. Now we're weeks and we continue to push that to where we're, we're days or even hours. The success of our implementation became obvious when we went from 50 to 80 percent virtualized. The data center move project came in under budget and on time and we reduced the cost of implementing a VM by about 10 to 1. The data center move went very smoothly with no downtime and without a software defined data center we would not have been able to do that. One of the less uh, tangible benefits is really downtime uh, around our applications and impacts to our customers. We've um, used vCenter Operations Manager to tie into other corporate management tools to be a single pane of glass for our virtual machines. We actually devolved access to that out to our systems performance team so that they no longer have to come to us and, requ and request performance information. With very little training they were able to go out and get that information themselves and now fulfill all their own requests. There are other beneficiaries to us implementing the, the Software Defined Data Center. Our channel partners could come on much faster. Also, our franchisees benefited from it in terms of our commitment to them to meet the uh, service level agreements that we've agreed to. The advice I'd give to my peers when going through a Software Defined Data Center project is to reach out to their peers, get involved in the VMware communities online, attend your VMware user group, be vocal in the community and people will help you and get you to the end point in your journey faster than you would have ever thought possible.